Welcome, Yari Virrankoski. It's really nice to have you here. How are you, man? <laughs> well, thank you, Marcus. It's uh, nice to nice to have this chance to talk with you. And a little bit sorry about my voice. I had a, a flu just recently. Okay, no problem. Your your bass sounds really since it has a good ping in it, so everything is fine. Okay, Yari Virankoski is a good friend, of, a business friend of mine. We have been working together, and, and you are the CEO of, of Delaval Finland, and then you are also responsible, I understood, for the uh, Eastern Europe countries. But could you, Dela, could you a little bit tell, what, is, what does Delaval do, and what is your backstory? Delaval is a company which is uh, then, uh, having uh, selling the equip barn equipment for cattle farms okay so, uh, basically uh, all equipment and aftermarket products what are needed in in a modern uh, mo modern uh, dairy dairy farm uh, today uh, we are worldwide company about one one billion and a headquarter in in sweden and our sister company is then uh, tetra Pak. so okay. we come together then created uh, tetra laval uh, uh, group but we here as a Finland we are of course the daughter company and we are quite independent with then working yeah working for, uh, for Finnish markets and how and many are you how, how many are you in the office there we are 20 people uh, here in okay. here in office and uh, then additionally I have the responsibility then for the Eastern European areas uh, so it's uh, Baltic countries and, and, and uh, Poland uh, then okay. we have office Hungary and, and uh, so on so yeah. uh, <clears throat> big picture bigger picture but most of the time it's uh, related to Finland because this is actually the biggest market for for, for myself here okay yeah yeah so uh, you have a family what is your background <laughs> Well, it's uh, well. You can guess maybe a little bit that uh, I was born and raised on a family farm in okay. uh, South Ostrobotnia, and, and uh, then uh, I chose uh, agriculture university here okay. in Helsinki, and, and since that I have been in uh, agri business. So I was uh, 15 years in the fertilizer comp uh, company Kemira, and uh, and and then in a uh, short time in the horticulture cattle yeah. business, and now uh, six years here in in, in Delaval. Yeah, well, let's say doing very much what I was uh, studying. Uh, yeah, back in back in eighties and nineties. Yes. Do you have kids? I do have a family. Yes, uh, here in uh, yeah, Espo. Uh, how many? How many kids? <laughs> three, three children. Three children. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Nice. I, uh, I remember when we, you you uh, were appointed as the CEO of the company and, and, and you started to think on the strategy and you ended up doing the strategy on one page. But can you tell a little bit about that time? Why did you start to work with strategy and so on? Uh, yes, it was a typical situation that uh, I, I came to company and I, of course, first uh, get to know uh, this Delaval uh, culture and, and uh, habits and how they did uh, their strategy. Uh, and, and reporting uh, earlier, but uh, more or less after first round, uh, then I found it a bit too complicated. And, and then, uh, okay. as we have been in discussion with you all, all the time, let's say time, time to time, then uh, I got to realize that your strategy one pager is, is something which would fit actually very well for this uh, my situation. Yeah. So so then you had the, the task to kind of make the strategy and, and get your people, the 20 people on board on that. So so what do you remember about the process? How did you do it? Uh, yes, uh, it was first that uh, you sent uh, me a proposal about the generally how does it uh, look and how, how it should work. And uh, then I fine tune it uh, more to my uh, my situation and, and this company situation and, and we sit, uh, sat down then <coughs> to, together and, uh, and, and find uh, then the right concept and uh, what we thought that it is uh, uh, useful. And then we sent uh, also the questionnaire for our, my management uh, people uh, about uh, generally that and, and after, after that we realized that uh, what was their feedback and uh, what was their opinion yeah. then we uh, fine-tune it finally and, and then I went to the 
uh, meeting with them and, and they introduced that uh, that uh, from now on we will make our uh, strategy uh, around based on this one page sorry okay uh, it was quite uh, easily accepted uh, on that uh, very first meeting because it was so clear and and, and, and uh, simple that once people are coming from the background of, of hard work and uh, several uh, pages, uh, PowerPoint pages and things like that. <laughs> this was uh, uh, somehow uh, delighting them that it could be so easy, easy actually. Did you have any kind of challenges in, in uh, let's call it selling of, of, the, of the text on the one page? Uh, you had the, the strategy and you had the focus area, so it must be battles, I remember, that we used. Had you, and then goals underneath those. Had you any, any problems to get the people to accept those, those lines? We had the, a quick poll before, so it was partly their own text, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think it was uh, well and understood, especially when we were focusing. Uh, I was repeating and repeating these uh, three main questions: that uh, why, how, and and what. And uh, and then, um, uh, yeah, the the when, once we will start it to do it, uh, the people then typically uh, tend to make it too wide, and uh, and and it was uh, challenging to f focus and sharpen. Uh, the text so that we will uh, uh, we, we get a uh, more dynamic and, and uh, easier look in strategy. Yeah. Can you give some example, Yari, about what was too wide? Can you give an example typically? Well, I, I think the one uh, the, all the typical sentences and that uh, uh, let's make our selling better or, or we have to improve our marketing uh, and, and then it's uh, of course questions that what do you what do you mean about that and how to improve and uh, and and we can uh, probably accept uh, something like that as a main main goal but then then we have to be a bit more precise with the activities what are their uh, yes so, uh, well, where is the target finally yeah so the effective marketing was on the one page uh, but then you broke down it to actions and, and, yes. and yeah. That's a very crucial, very crucial uh, step in, in here. Okay. That you don't, you don't yes, when you are a leader, uh, that you will not accept these kind of general sentences, that at least they must be explained uh, better and, and uh, break down for the uh, activities. Yeah, that, this is a very good good point that you come up now, that, that you have to have the courage to somehow challenge and, and not take this kind of, I call it a little bit corporate bullshit that, that, you know, let's be more efficient, you know, let's get, and also, which, which is very typical in my, my experience, let's get more customers. But yes. Then, but then, then comes the question that how, and, and the how is the strategy and to understand that, how are you going to, did you have this task, how to get more customers, by the way? Um, um, yeah, it could be, could be that, yes, uh, then that was also the one, uh, one to be typical. Yeah, so, so um, if, we, if we would kind of summarize, Yari, what went very well and where did you have the challenges? Because it can't be just a, a dance on roses, that something, some things were also challenges, but what went well? Uh, the, the, the process went well, so uh, it was easy to okay, concentrate on, on uh, why why we are existing uh, what is our vision and then uh, you came down from there to the uh, strategy and how you are going to do that yeah and, and then you uh, then you start uh, once you were happy with uh, with with the main description <clears throat> how to how the strategy should look like then you came down uh, to uh, crucial what questions and then you you started to make this uh, uh, breakthrough goals yeah uh, and there uh, it is uh, some people were uh, typically they were making too many too many uh, yeah but it, it's it's a good to realize that uh, <coughs> excuse me <coughs> <coughs> that's uh, like five to seven uh, gray back uh, uh, breakthrough goals that are uh, simply too many too, too many so that uh, two to four Two to four, yeah. Two to four for, let's say, to each area. 
we, I think we were exactly following your structure that there were four main areas. Yeah. Uh, for myself or this company, it's typical that we have a capital good to equipment, then we have aftermarket products, then we have services, and then maybe have a support function. Okay. So those we made, a, let's say, from two to four uh, activities. And that's definitely is, uh, is enough. Yeah. One yeah, less one was accepted when it's a bit yeah. more expensive. So. Less is more because otherwise things tend to, you know, the time schedule just prolongs if, if you had too, ma too, many, too many goals. So you need to, yeah. to focus on that. Okay, but what was the, the traps in the process? And the challenge is what could <laughs> people who hasn't done this, what, what will they find is, is challenging? Um, um, yeah, the, the sharpening is always uh, the, the question and, and ready to go uh, break it, break it uh, down to the activities. And then finally, then uh, uh, this, uh, following these uh, activities, so that I think the biggest challenge was really there. Uh, following? Uh, yeah, well, the, well the, on, on these uh, breakthrough goals that you are splitting to the right, exactly the right activities. And then uh, you start this uh, implementation and following. Yeah. And how did you do the How did you do the follow up, Yari? <laughs> uh, follow up. Uh, we built uh, this kind of master track uh, Excel Excel sheet, which was uh, where we saw each of these breakthrough goals and and acti activities below it, uh, and and um, and then time schedule and uh, and also then. Uh, to the to, to uh, traffic lights then that uh, how it is proceeding so this we were following on monthly meetings but first uh, i think it was just uh, monthly meetings but then i realized that they, that they, they need also time to execute on so then it was uh, let's say uh, uh, every second month or or typically nowadays i'm doing it quarterly okay so i i will trust already the process uh, so much and people that uh, that I, I will see that they are doing that, but uh, of course we will uh, then make a, a summary then together that where we are. So how, how often do you do you uh, do you communicate with your management team? How many are you in the management team? Uh, we are uh, uh, at the moment eight people. In yeah, the, and how often do uh, you have meetings with them? Uh, monthly, monthly. monthly. Yeah. I will. Uh, yeah, we have monthly meetings, but uh, typically we have operative things which are taking most part of that, uh, the set sales and yeah. so on. So yeah. The strategy will be, uh, then we will focus on that, uh, on, on then uh, yeah. more on, uh, on uh, quarterly. And yeah. then once we will uh, then uh, meet, because today I have also my, some of my people on, on other countries. So uh, the, today it is also, we will uh, have a Skype meetings and, and, but once we are physically together, then we will go through strategy. Okay, yeah, okay, that's nice, yeah. So, so uh, what would your advice be to, to such kind of viewers who are now in that situation that they are, they realize that they have to do something to their, to, to their uh, strategy, that they have to write, write it somehow, that it's not, not enough only to sit around the coffee table to steer their company. So what would you say uh, would be your main advice to them? Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think that it's said uh, that you'll be, uh, be brave and, and uh, st start it. And, and uh, I think it's simply that you will focus those uh, three, three uh, four main questions really that uh, why it is, why? Then, uh, how, yeah, why, how, and, and what. Yeah. When, you, when you keep on repeating that, uh, then uh, you will get your people on, on board and, and they get uh, realized that uh, what we are after. And, uh, and why we need to answer for those questions. And then it is just uh, implementation and, and follow-up. And uh, of course, there are people which are doing that very uh, carefully, but uh, mostly people are then uh, a bit, bit uh, having the time stress and, and things are on, on the table. So uh, you have to go back and say that, well, let's, let's guys, we will not give up on this. We have made a very good strategy but we will keep on this implementation. And it's, then it's rewarding after, after one year or, or after two years, depends on what kind of activity there is, that once you will see 
that it is proceeding and it starts to reward everyone that okay hey we are going forward and it, it makes really a change on this company and and, and sense and, and then you will uh, you you will you will you start to see that uh, people start to be more uh, more independent on that that uh, leadership is not they are uh, they, they are self motivated and you, your leadership uh, don't need to be be so much but in in uh, in the beginning you must you must insist Okay. That, uh, yeah. that we will go back for that uh, that uh, strategy what has been done together and and promised to do. Hey, Yari, thank you. Get... you. What, what thank a you. nice what a nice uh, package you gave us, and uh, and I I really admire your your way to run the company. That great work, Yari, and thank you so much for for joining this virtual summit and. All the best to you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, uh, Marcus. I can maybe add that I, I was, I was, my market area was just rewarded in in this company a month ago from the best performing market area in uh, in 2018, and it was not only the the sales growth and and the profitability which were which were fine for us, but it was also the leadership, and I think that this uh, strategy one page was a very crucial part of that. That leadership, uh, what my my bosses and my colleagues has seen, has been in, in greatly in place, and and we are uh, 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 doing the right things and and, and going to the right uh, directions. You I think that's hey, uh, hey. the uh, evidence of that that, uh, that being consistent and, and uh, trusting then uh, your yourself and that uh, that the good a simple tool uh, is a good help on on that journey. Hey, Yari, no wonder that you got the prize and award, and, and, and uh, no wonder I'm on the thank you, friend, and, and, and keep up the spirit. Yeah. Thank you.